Welcome back. Because of a dare he thoughtlessly accepted before, Rich is now asked to seriously prove his physical strength. Rich's friends are observing him as he holds a 146 kilogram rock on a street that makes a 16 degree angle with the horizontal using a cord strapped to his body. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the rock and the street is 0.265 according to a trustworthy source. Rich pulls with his body in the same direction in which the boulder slides at a constant speed of 0.022 meters per second. How large is the force that Rich is applying? So we have to start by drawing a free body diagram, making sure that we are accounting for all the forces. So based on the description, it's apparent that he's applying a force in the direction of the cord. Then there is the force of gravity. Then there is the frictional force, which is kinetic friction. And then there is the normal force. So you know from the problems we solved earlier, the normal force will be perpendicular to the slope. So that n vector is not vertical. So the first thing we're going to do is to rotate the coordinates and use a x coordinate that goes up the slope and a y coordinate that's perpendicular to that. We need to decompose only one vector with that choice because the other three vectors f, a, f, k and n are already aligned with the coordinates. So we only have to decompose mg. We are going to decompose it in the x and y directions. There is a mg sub y and a mg sub x based on this figure. And now we're going to apply Newton's second law. The acceleration, potentially, there could be an acceleration in the problem, is only confined to the x direction. Again, the x direction does not mean the horizontal. Here it means the direction of the street, which is tilted up by 16 degrees. The f net x is equal to mass times acceleration, while the f net y is equal to zero because this boulder is not taking off. So, based on our free body diagram, we can write applied force minus friction minus the x component of mg, which is mg sine of the 16 degree angle. The mg sine 16 degrees is because the yellow segment in the triangle is the opposite to the angle 16 degrees in the triangle. F net y is the normal force minus mg sub y, which is the y component of mg. Again, y does not mean vertical, y means perpendicular to the direction of motion in this problem. So that would be normal force minus mg cosine 16, because mg sub y is now the adjacent side to the angle of 16 degrees in that triangle. Okay, after this, we are pretty much ready to solve for normal force. Uh, substitute in the expression for kinetic friction because f sub k is the coefficient mu k times the normal force. We get fa minus mu k mg cosine 16 degrees minus mg sine 16 degrees equals ma. All right, we know this other problem is telling us that the velocity is constant in magnitude and direction, so the acceleration is zero. Symbolically, this is a dimensionally correct expression because mg is a force and the term in parentheses is just a combination of dimensionless quantities. The units are Newton. So there's two comments that I have here. This is a really large force, which means that Rich might not be able to keep applying this same force for a very long distance. The moment it decreased his applied force, the rock would begin to slow down. So if this applied force was any less than 760 Newtons, you would observe the rock to slow down, eventually coming to a halt. I'll see you soon.